Hey everybody, Curtis is here with more Stormfall Saga Survival. So today, we're going to talk about armor. Uh, like what the most efficient armor is to use. Uh, I'm not going to go through the list of armors up to level 54 here. Which is the Barbarian set. And I'm just going to give you my overall opinion on the rest of them. So, really quick though, before we do that. Please make sure that if you're not already subscribed to the channel or if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because that really helps me out when you can see when I've uploaded stuff. Also, I am playing a new game called Beholder 2 on the channel, doing a full playthrough of it. Not going to stop until I'm done with it. So please make sure to give that series a check out. Give those videos likes and shares and do all that good stuff with it and you know because the more you support my diverse content as well as my mobile content you know helps the channel out as a whole so thank you guys so much i appreciate that now on to the armors so really quick just some quick tips about armor armor when you're fighting enemies degrades at the same rate per attack. So in other words, whether you are wearing, uh, you know, tunic armor, or whether you are wearing enchanted armor, the durability will degrade at the same rate of attack. So in other words, whether it's a frog that attacks you or a bone breaker that attacks you, the durability goes down at the same rate. So, which is why, you know, ranged combat is very, very, very preferable in this game. So, anyways, on to the sets. So, the tunic set affords you about, you know, without being upgraded, affords you about 8 damage protection. That's not much. But it is better than no armor. And the tunic set is very cheap on materials, generally only requiring like rushes, rope, and cheesecloth, and usually some pelt. So, very cheap on materials. This, this is a set you wear if you don't have any ranged weapons and you are going through like the one and two, one and two skull areas. So like, you know, pine groves, stone ridges, and the forest. This is what you'd wear through these areas. Like you can scoot by these areas without any armor too. Like if you're good, if you have slings and you're really good at using slings, you can scoot by without armor. But I do suggest, even if you are, you know, opting not to use any armor, always make shoes. And wear them foot wraps boots whatever you want to call them they increase your movement speed depending on the uh the level of the uh you know which uh, which tier of the armor you're using whether it be sturdy boots reinforced boots or whatever they they all have a cumulative uh, or, or a ramping effect on your movement speed so make sure you're always at least wearing boots because it'll help you run away from enemies if you do get surrounded but anyway, so again, tunic set best for the most the new the the noob areas, you know the lowest level areas, good set for that. But that's it. Like you won't even be crafting this later on. It is just uh, not useful for anything later on. But then again, though, uh, even though, uh, let's see, if you're to three stars, five, eleven. 17 22 and 27 actually you know what at three stars like if all you had all five pieces of equipment at three stars it's actually a set you can scoop by with in most uh, most areas so that's not too bad if you were to get all three stars but anyways but we're not going to discuss the the levels on the stars like you guys can make the uh you know, make the assessment on the armor reduction later on when you're upgrading your equipment. So, 
because I'm going to be talking about you know all these equipments at their base values, not at you know upgraded values. So next is the padded set. The padded set is very useful for scooting by in most areas. To be honest, like you're going to craft this set a lot when you're in the mid in the early game. Once you're level nine, even up to level sixteen you're going to craft the padded set more often than you will be crafting the leather set. The reason being, of course, is that the padded set, the, the padded set is cheaper on material because it doesn't require the, you know, the, the sinew you see here. That's just for the upgrade. The, the regular set requires just rope, uh, just rope, you know, blah, rope, pelt, flax linen, a little bit of uh, clay and uh, that's it. And some cheesecloth, that's it. So again, this is a very cheap set. You'll craft this very often. This set provides you about three, let's see, three, six, three, six plus four is 10, plus four is 14, plus three is 17. This affords you about 17 damage reduction, which is, twice as good like literally twice as good as the base tunic set so yeah you're going to craft this set more often than the rest of the sets and uh, since i have this set all at one star like i'm just going to tell you this like it has four eight 14 20 24 24 damage reduction which is almost like 5 11 18, 22, um, 26, which is literally just as good as the base, uh, base, uh, leather set. So really, you know, if you have this all at one star, this is just as good as the base leather set, which I'm going to get to the base leather set here, but first the base padded set is good for getting through most three skull areas. That means woodlands, rocky spires, rugged cliffs, um, camps, pretty much all those areas. Like you can scoot by with the padded set in all these areas. So long, so long as you're good with ranged combat. Like I, I do stress, I have to stress ranged combat. Use your slings, your pyromancer rings. Anything bow, uh, you know, bows. Get those things. Get good with them because ranged combat will help save your armor a lot. Anyways, so that's like the uh, basically padded is what you're gonna take around all the the natural areas. You know, stone ridges, woodlands, rugged cliffs, all those areas. That's where you're gonna take the padded set. Now, the next set, the leather set. I consider the leather set at its base to be a minimum set for dungeon diving. Dungeon diving being basically Raiders Hideouts, uh, Raiders Hideouts, Curse Forest, not Curse Forest. Uh, yeah, even Curse Forest. You can get by in the Curse Forest too. So yeah, so Raiders Hideouts, Dark Woods, Cursed Forest, and the dungeon. I consider the leather set to be a minimum set for getting through these areas safely without having too high of a chance to die. Now you can get through with the padded set at its base level, but again, I stress ranged combat. If you aren't any good at ranged combat, then you know the padded set isn't gonna do you any damn good. So which is why I suggest the leather set, because the leather set will give you more durability to fight in melee combat, which of course inside the dungeon, the grotto in the uh, the um, chieftain's uh, stronghold, those areas are going to have a lot of tight uh, tight corridors and stuff that you're going to have to fight in, and generally you're not going to be able to kite too much. But you can, but again, like I said, it's just you have to be really good at it. So leather set is a minimum set for hard areas. Just keep that in mind, like you should be using, like if you're going into a very hard area, the leather set is like the minimum you should be taking. 
Like the it's the minimum, bare minimum. Now the next set I consider to be the most optimal set at its base, which is the reinforced set. So the reinforced set gives seven plus nine is sixteen plus eight is twenty four plus six is thirty plus ten is forty. So you know, reinforced set require gives you a forty damage reduction, which overall gives you more than enough protection and the boots in the reinforced set give you more than enough movement speed to outmaneuver enemies and overall this is the most optimal set to use for dungeon diving like if you're going to take this set because it's not too expensive on materials in the middle game i would say not not like in the late game late game this is cheap this is like for me in level 54 this is cheap on materials like, believe it or not, this is very cheap on materials for me. So, it just requires, you know, like, a lot of boar, like, a little bit of farming. Like, boar tusks and stuff like that and cheesecloth. There's just a lot of farming materials. Belts are a little expensive again, but because, you know, like, I'm in late game, I run into belts all the time. So, it's not that big of a deal. And that was, uh... <laughs> Blue stacks give me a notification. Anyway. So again, reinforced set, I consider the most optimum set to use for dungeon diving. Like all the hard areas use this set because this set will give you the most protection. Well, the most needed protection. Not the most protection, just most needed protection. Now the next set is the studded set. I consider the studded set at its base value to be overkill for most of the current hard areas. Like really, this is expensive on materials because you require heavy linen. And uh, it, well, it's just mostly the heavy linen. Heavy linen is heavy linen is expensive on materials, even for me. So like I wouldn't even use this right now unless I had to. And I have four of these, uh, uh, one star too. But it was a studded set at its base is 12, uh, 23, 33, 45, 60. Gives you 60 damage reduction. Like I said, but I consider this to be overkill just because it's expensive on materials. So really, if you, if you really, like if you really aren't sure about where you're going, then use the uh you know or you know if you're not so sure about your skills and fighting enemies then go ahead and use the studded set for extra extra insurance and then right to where i'm at the barbarian set again this is actually what i'm wearing too right now like i'm not gonna lie i wanted to try it out gives you 86 defense overall this is all one uh zero stars this is all base level uh equipment Gives you lots of movement speed on the boots. Lots of protection. But again, this is just overkill for what is needed. So, you know, it's expensive, and especially since it's expensive as heck on materials. I mean, we're talking iron plates, oak planks, heavy pelt, belts, sinew wolf fangs which aren't a big deal but you know you still gotta farm them and just tons of belts iron plates and heavy pelts so overall this set is very expensive on materials and it's just overkill for even going through a dungeon right now so but there are hard there is going to be a harder new dungeon with a boss being introduced hopefully very soon and hopefully this set this set will be what's it, what would be optimal for going through it but until then though it's just overkill and then you have the chainmail set which gives you like around 120 or so uh defense and it's just overkill for what's needed right now and then the plate set which is like over 150 160 and again it's just overkill for what you need so you know no, no real reason to use it like but of course I do stress though like when you're way up there you at the very least though you do want to um, craft the boots 
like I said, the boots are up on, a, on an incline for how much speed they give you. And having the best boots possible equipped all the time is probably, I would say preferable, just because you want to move real fast. And then is finally the enchanted set. We should got the enchanted gloves, helm, all this stuff. This is a ridiculous amount of defense. 44, 36 is 80. 68 is 140, 148, 45, 193, and then 41 is two, 234, something like that. So around, around 230, 240 uh, defense. Like this, like if you're, if you are currently a level 82 player plus, uh, 82 plus player, Crafting this is just straight overkill. If you can even craft it. I don't know if all the items for this exist. But it's just straight overkill for doing anything. Like, there's there's no reason to craft this uh, in the late game right now. And then, of course, uh, I mean, that's it. And, like, the, the Polex is really cheap on material, by the way. I have, for being level 86, for a level 86 weapon... I just noticed it's just an iron plate, three oak planks, and a whetstone. And for 78 damage, 55 durability, that's, uh, it's actually really cheap on material. Anyway, but that is my opinion and my tips on armor. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, leave a comment, make sure to subscribe, like, hit the, uh, hit the like button. And uh, I'll have left a card already in the video for you to go check out my Beholder series. And because I really appreciate that. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye-bye.